into the demo and talking about the foundation. It would be very rude of me not to introduce our special guest today, which is this um, alien life form that seems to have made its way onto my face this lovely Sunday. Um, honestly, filming a foundation tutorial routine was not my first choice today because of this. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it is. I, I guess it's just a blemish, but um, it's pretty aggressive. So bear with me. We all get them. If nothing else, this will be a good test for this foundation. So anyways, just wanted to get that out of the way. Now we can start. Okay, so just a little tiny bit about this about this foundation before we get into the actual demo. There are 21 shades of this foundation, which is a really nice range, I think. And I'm pretty sure they're all pretty neutral shades. Um, they don't kind of air on the side of cool or uh, warm. They're just kind of right in the middle, which is really nice, I think. Um, certain brands are very cool and certain brands are very warm with their foundations. For instance, NARS tends to put out some more yellow based foundations, whereas I just bought the um, Dior Air Flash a couple weeks ago and that I found those colors to be very cool. So this one I think is kind of right there in the middle um, with mostly neutral undertones to the colors, which is nice because you can kind of blend it to match your skin tone regardless if you are cool, neutral, or warm, which is great. Um, I'm mostly neutral, I think kind of um, on the border of warm, but I think I'm more on the neutral side of things. So this color is a really nice match for me. So just a little bit of a backstory. I got this foundation. I watched Nicole Guerrero's video um, and she talked about it and she really liked it. So of course I had to go and check it out. And as luck would have it, they were giving it away as part of um, your Sephora points. So you could use your Sephora points to buy a little sample like this big. So I bought it and I think I had the color, gosh, like eight or nine, I want to say. Probably nine because that's neutral. Um, so I had the color nine. So it was way too dark for me like it's probably going to be perfect for me in the summer but for right now it's way way too dark for me but I used it anyways because I was like I'm gonna make this work I gotta try this I'm gonna make this work so I put it on I blended it all down my neck and I just like instantly fell in love with it it was amazing full coverage really comfortable to wear um, and I love the applicator which we'll get into a little bit but um yeah, I was just instantly really, really in love with the foundation. So I was like, all right, I got to go back and get my actual color here because I can't really get away with this shade that's way too dark with, dark for me um, on like a day-to-day -day basis. It's one thing to go out. You can kind of get away with it when it's a little bit darker, you're going out to dinner or something. But if you're going out in the daylight, it's going to look a little crazy. So I went back and I got my actual color, which is a perfect match for me right now. And that is the color One Linen. So I'm in the shade One Linen, which, just for your reference, is actually the second to lightest color, which is kind of crazy. Usually I'm not quite that light, usually I'm more like light medium, but for this particular foundation I was matched to this really, really light shade, and it is actually a really good match for me. So, um, just a little bit more about this foundation before we get started with the demo. Um, I'm just going to read you the little, like, um, you know explanation that Sephora gives. So it says this lightweight moisturizing foundation and concealer provides full coverage without clogging pores. This 12 hour wear breathable formula is ideal for very dry to combination oily skin types. Its special polymer formula forms a flexible film that moves with the skin for lasting wear and it dries slowly for easy blending. Get lasting coverage and give skin a perfected look that stays put even through sweat and humidity. So um, I have been kind of searching for a perfect winter foundation for a long, long time. I have been trying all sorts of different samples and I think this is going to be up there with my favorite foundation for this season. I'm really happy I found it. I really wanted a full coverage foundation because um, I just really wanted to be able to cover all the stuff that's going on in my face right now. So um, I'm happy I found it. I mean, I, I am really liking it so far. I've only used it about probably twice. Um, but I'm really, really liking the applicator. I'm liking that you can kind of spot treat at the same time as you um, are putting foundation on. It's just all around so far a really, really nice foundation. So I'm going to talk about it a little bit more as we go, but um, let's jump into the demo. 
Okay guys, so I'm going to do this demo as if, you know, I was putting on my foundation for the day. So before we get started, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics 6 color concealer and corrector palette. And I'm going to use this green shade to take away some of the redness of this alien life form that we have going on. I, it's, it's so absurd, I can't even talk about it. Gotta do something about it. So I'm going to coat that with this green concealer just to take away some of the redness because that's what I would do on a daily basis. So I'm going to do the same thing for this tutorial. And I'm just going to hit a couple of these marks down here. Again, this step is totally optional, but I just find that it helps me with the coverage. So now jumping in, this is what the applicator looks like. It's just basically a giant doe foot applicator like for concealer, but it's super sized, which I think there might be some concern about hygiene with this because you're putting it on your face and then you're dipping it back into the product. That's not something that bothers me, but um, I don't know, I would think that some people would be kind of concerned about that. But the ease of application is so, so nice with this applicator that um, for me, you know, it's worth it. So I'm just going to basically what I've been doing is sweeping the product from the uh, center of my face outward because I want the most coverage to be through the center of my face and where you have active breakouts it's so nice because you can actually like conceal as you go with this wand so there's my so as you can see, I can actually like press the applicator over that blemish and it kind of disappears under the foundation. I like to put, I like to kind of, you know, not put foundation where I don't need it. Um, so like I said, I like to concentrate it on the center of my face and then just blend outward as opposed to putting a thick layer all around my face, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's basically what I do. Um, I put it on all over with the applicator, and then I take a flat top kabuki, kabuki brush. This one is from Sigma. It's the F80 brush, and I keep coming back to this brush. I find that it gives me um, the most full coverage in comparison to all my other brushes because I like to use this sort of like stamping motion, and it just helps the foundation to just stay exactly where you put it as opposed to blending it out. So I'm also going to use this as my under eye concealer since it says you can use it as a concealer and a foundation. We're going to give that a shot. Normally I would use a lighter concealer underneath my eyes but we're going to try it out. Okay, so again, just concentrating in the center and blending it out. And as you can see, we have instant, pretty much full coverage. And the coverage is so nice. Like it's not, it's not super, you know, cakey or heavy looking. And it kind of has this natural like glow to it a little bit. As you can see, you still have a little bit of glow to the skin. And I didn't even use a primer. I just prepped my skin with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer and put some eye cream on. So that is one coat of the foundation. And we have awesome coverage. Now this... It's just a doozy, like there's nothing I can do to really make that go away. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take out the conce or the uh, foundation again and I'm gonna go back in. So those of us that do have these kind of like monstrous breakouts, we're gonna see how this foundation tackles them right now. Um, so you can also use like a damp beauty blender. Sometimes I do that if I'm trying to cover a blemish. Instead of a brush, I use a damp beauty blender and I just tap it over the blemish and I find that that gives me really nice coverage but I don't have my beauty blender with me right now so we're gonna go with what we have 
Okay, so I'm just using a very light tapping motion because I want to maximize coverage over that blemish. So the foundation really doesn't have any smell to speak of, which I know is something I always talk about because I've had friends in the past who um, actually get migraines really easily, so um, they need to be super sensitive to smell. And some foundations have really strong smells. So this one does not have any kind of smell, really, that I can detect anyways. So as you can see, it's almost a perfect match to my neck. And it really did double as a pretty nice under eye concealer, I have to say. It's not like really settling into my fine lines under my eyes too much. Um, it's really just a perfect like whew, mask over all your imperfections. So how do we feel about how this covered this up? How do we feel? I mean, it's still there. It's obviously still there. But I feel like at least it's not like a glaring evil eye staring at you. you it's kind of like somewhat in the background a little bit. Um, so let's bring you a little closer. I look weird right now with this foundation on and nothing on my eyes. So as you can see, again, we have a nice glow that's staying on the skin, and it's very full coverage. It really, you know, has masked most of my imperfections. Even this is, even this is at least, you know, mostly concealed. Um, and I would definitely go in and set this with a pressed powder or some sort of setting powder, just because um, I'd want to keep all the foundation in place and. I'd want to keep all the foundation in place and I would kind of just want to mattify the center of my face so I didn't get too greasy throughout the day. But I have to say this foundation is pretty good for, for most skin types. I don't think it's going to be necessarily the best if you have like super, super, super oily skin. But if you are a combination like myself or dry, um, this is going to be a great, a great thing for you. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Okay guys, so that is the foundation application complete. Um, just to kind of hit some of the top information points about this foundation, there are 21 shades. There's a nice range between very light and quite dark. Um, I am the second to lightest shade, the color Linen. This is a full coverage foundation that's ideal for dry to oily combination skin. I don't know if it's the best for super, super, super oily skin just because we are maintaining a nice glow to our skin. Um, it boasts really long wear, 12 hour wear, it's got an amazing applicator that can really, really target those problematic areas for those of us with active breakouts as well as acne scarring, it's perfect for that. Um, it's also buildable, so like I had to go back in a second time around and conceal this guy again, and this foundation was very, very buildable. It did not get cakey or gross after the second application, which is really, really nice. This also doubles as an under eye concealer. If you are rushed in the morning, you can just, you know, plaster a, a layer of this all over your face and you don't have to worry about going in with additional concealers, which I think is a huge plus. Um, last details, it retails for $27, which I personally think is pretty affordable, um, you know, considering some foundations range upwards of 30, 40, 50, even $60, 27 really isn't that bad for such a nice, nice full coverage foundation. I think this foundation is awesome for pretty much any season from winter to summer just because it is going to kind of adapt to your skin. Um, especially in the winter time, it's going to kind of keep in that moisture and it's not going to let those dry patches take over, which, which I think is a huge plus. This is definitely my top pick for winter foundations. I do have a couple that are sort of like ones that I also really, really like right now, but um, as a day-to-day -day foundation with full coverage benefits, I love this. I also want to mention that you could definitely go back in with your brush and really thin it out and really sh um, sheer it out uh, if you didn't want such full coverage. I personally like full coverage. That is definitely what I go for for the most part in a foundation, so it's it's perfect for me. Um, What else? Yeah, I think the only other thing to mention about this is that if you didn't want to use it as a full conceal or as a full foundation, you could also just go in and spot treat, um, spot treat with this 
as a um, concealer. So if you didn't want to coat your whole face, you could definitely still use this for just spot treatment. If your skin is generally pretty clear and you just want to go in, this is going to give you really, really nice coverage for any sort of blemishes you have. If you want to just use it as a concealer, just a foundation, or if you want to use it as both, which is what I did, um, it's going to work for you no matter what. So that is my review and demo of this foundation, guys. Please, please let me know if you have any questions at all. Leave them down below. I'm really good about responding to comments quickly. So um, yeah, ask any questions you want. I'm happy to answer them. Yeah, that's about it. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Always subscribe if you like my videos and come back soon. Thanks. Bye.